Well, if you look at rugby and you look at uh, the fact that rugby is becoming more prominent uh, throughout the country, actually throughout the, throughout the world, and it's attracting more and more people and it's becoming more and more competitive across the nation, we felt that it probably needed the structure and the uh, supervision and, and, and the infrastructure as well to be able to rise with the sport as it becomes more and more prominent. There's more and more nations, there are more and more universities throughout the nation that are converting it to an NCAA sport so that it has that level of supervision and the infrastructure in support of it. And we think it's about time that we do that here at West Point as well. Rugby ties in with the word ethos because rugby is all about mental and physical toughness. It's about going out there and developing the brotherhood and sisterhood that you see in great units that are out there in the field. It's about winning and laying down the line for your team. It's about rising to levels that you didn't think were even possible. And, and when you look at what the mental and physical toughness traits are to put great rugby teams together, they are the same characteristics and attributes that make great units and make great leaders of those great units when our cadets uh, graduate and, and are in charge of those uh, units uh, once they're out there. And rugby now becomes one of 28 sports that the Office of Director in Collegiate Athletics has oversight for. Uh, so he's got oversight of not only the, the infrastructure and the leadership and the management, but also for the infrastructure. About a thousand of our cadets, almost 25% of our cadets are in, in some sort of NCAA uh, team. And this now allows the rugby players to be able to participate with the National Collegiate Athletic Association as well. Uh, the other aspect of working with the Officer of Collegiate Athletics is that uh, they'll have oversight of the, of the phenomenal facility that we currently have, which is the Anderson Rugby Complex. And, uh, and that which includes not only a couple of fields, but also the, the, the complex down there. And since we've also expanded into the men's and the women's, the complex itself will expand uh, so it accommodates equally uh, both men's and women's, uh, all the locker rooms and meeting rooms and everything else down there as well. This is a first class rugby facility in our nation. We're very fortunate to have uh, Mr. Anderson be able to back it up and support it. And uh, we, we intend to keep it a first class facility uh, as we expand rugby into the NCAAs. Our Army rugby team competes nationally at the national level. Uh, year after year, they're competitive to be the best uh, team in the nation. Uh, they, play, uh, they play against the best teams in the nation. In addition, they play against uh, Air Force, the Air Force Academy, and the Naval Academy. Uh, so to have this level of supervision and support will uh, develop them as they really need to be to be competitive, even more competitive than they already are, and to bring back some of the Commander-in-Chief trophies that are within the rugby system to include and perhaps the ultimate goal of a national championship.